Hello and welcome to Ground Control. Look what I have for review today. It is the Flybear FX823, I believe. Let's see here. Yes, the FX823 F16 Thunderbirds micro airplane. Um, what you get in the box is you get the little transmitter and it takes I believe six yeah six double A batteries quite a bit um, and it comes with a little USB charger it also comes with a set of spare props and it has a USB port on the side of the transmitter so that you can charge it out in the field if you need to you get a very large tube of glue and you get a one cell battery that has a lossy connector on it and it doesn't give me the uh, the C rating on the battery but I'd say uh, one cell 3.7 volt 220 milliamp battery it has two little brushless uh, excuse me brushed motors on it with these little props and it has no control surfaces and the way that it flies is it's just a two channel so you have a throttle on the left you ascend by giving it more throttle you descend by giving it less throttle and then you have your yaw which is your left and your right and it does that by speeding up and slowing down these motors so you basically have differential thrust that uh, does your steering for you that does the yaw on the plane it comes uh, fully assembled except for the landing gear. The landing gear just pops into the little plastic slots on the bottom. What I really like about this one is that it has a battery compartment so that you can, you can change out batteries while you're out in the field. So you can charge up all your batteries ahead of time and take them out with you. I absolutely loved the little um, Red Baron biplane from Flybear. The only downside to that plane was that it had an internal battery and so you had to charge it after each flight. You couldn't replace the battery. It also has an on and off switch underneath it right in front of the battery compartment which is really nice. The only thing that you had to assemble was uh, the vertical fin. I've already got the vertical fin on mine already glued in. There's a little recessed slot. It fits very snug in there. And uh, so I was kind of surprised when I saw this size of tube of glue for just gluing in this vertical stabilizer. But, uh, you know, if you ever damage the plane, you certainly have plenty of glue to be able to to repair it. So, so I've already glued that in. I've got my landing gear on. You also get this little operating the plane instruction sheets. You know, it's very basic. Uh, shows you how to charge the plane, etc., etc. But anyway, I am hoping that this little uh, micro two-channel airplane will be as good of a trainer for little kids as the Red Baron biplane is because that thing is absolutely the best little trainer I've found for kids uh, on the market so far that I've used. So I want to take this out to the field and, and fly it and see what kind of a, you know, how good of a trainer aircraft this is. So, I will see you guys out in the field. Alright. Alright, we're out here with the Flybear FX823 Micro Park Jet F-16 Thunderbird. And this is our main flight of this little plane. It's just a little two-channel trainer, and I want to see if this one is as good a trainer as the Flybear little um, Red Baron biplane. You, you, you're looking down. Why are you looking down? Because if I do this, I'm afraid I'm not going to get you in the screen. All right, here we go. Looks like we're going to have to put a little weight on the nose. This is the same problem as the fly bear. Same problem as the fly bear. Oh. Same problem as the fly bear. Uh, oh, yeah. Alright, let's try it again. 
Now that we're crashed it. <laughs> okay, maybe that's too much. Not, not going to make as good a trainer. Definitely not going to make as good a trainer as the uh, as the Red Baron playing. As you can see, every time you turn it, it does a pretty good dive. Whenever you turn it, you've got to throttle it up. Trying to tip me over. So it does take some getting used to it. See, you can see it climb right there? Mm-hmm. I did take the landing gear off of it. I didn't want to lose it, I'm going to look down again. And it seems like it's a little bit underpowered compared to the uh, Royal Flymare right there in Biceplane. Like right there, I had it under full throttle. Full throttle right now. looking a little plain, but I wouldn't recommend it as a first trainer. Might recommend it as a second plane, but so far it's a little red band by plane from Live Air with a little nose plate on it. It's the best little trainer airplane I've seen. Yep. Oh. And it's just, right when I made the turn there, it just goes straight down. Okay, so we've knocked the nose off of it. It looks more like a MIG now than an F-16. I have adjusted the nose weight a couple of times to try to get it to fly a little bit better. It still does the porpoise thing, but and it still acts like it's tail heavy. So I think it's kind. 
I think it's underpowered. If it had, I think, 8 millimeter motors on it instead of 7 millimeter, I think we would be able to get the nose weight far enough forward and it would still produce enough lift to where you would get a smooth flight from it instead of the porpoising effect. So, But we thought, what the heck, we're going to go ahead and fly this thing and if we tear it up, we tear it up. But uh, um, it's a bad plane anyway. <laughs> so, so anyway, um, we are going to have, we've got a novice over here that's going to fly it. Um, this is our first two-channel plane. I started her out on the Volantex Mini Train Star, which is a three-channel plane, and she did excellent with it. So, here we go. I'm going to launch it for her. Okay, well, that wasn't a very good launch. Let's try that again. <laughs> well, it's a good thing this is made out of EPP foam. It can take a lot of abuse. Okay, here we go. That's better. Oh, cut throttle. Okay, let's try this again. Oh, it's the battery. All right, battery compartment opened up. All right, here we go. Let's try it again. I'll knock the dirt off the nose. There we go. Ready? That plane just does not want to fly, does it? You know what? Maybe that's it. Let me pull the nose weight back off of it. I do have a little heavier battery in it. Because it only comes with one battery, so... Let me pull my nose weight back off of it because this this plane is compared to the the fly bear um red baron biplane this thing is way underpowered okay let's try it again nana you're flying upside down <laughs> it, won't respond to anything. it wouldn't respond it just kept going yeah. okay well maybe we've damaged it We've crashed this plane. Well, I've crashed this plane and crashed this plane. So, um, do not buy this plane. I'm kind of, I'm really disappointed because the Flybear, the Flybear um, Red Baron biplane is the best little trainer I've seen for kids so far. Now, you do have to put a little bit of nose weight on it, but it has plenty of power to carry it. You know, the Red Baron with a little nose weight on it that keeps it from doing the, the you know, the porpoise deal. So, um, I give this one a big thumbs down. All right. <laughs> thanks, for wa thanks for watching. <laughs> Please give a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. <laughs> I love that bounce. It's <laughs> that was terrible.